Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. In reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to you in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send the just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops, and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind in its bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love of the Immaculate and Maternal Heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the Intercession of Our Lady of Consolation. God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our Mother of Consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica through the conversion of the Son of God, help all those in Mary in consolation. United with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
kabayan. Iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahana ng aking lahi. Kinukupkop ako at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntuni ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. According to St. Luke, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartolome, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon who was called a zealot, and Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord.